Let's see how that goes. Tom Ryan says, oh, don't change the ball. Of course she's not going to want to change the ball. And the coach, and the referee comes out around here as they do the video review. And I will give you a very inside look right now. We're going back frame by frame. over it seems it seems the discrepancy and I'm not supposed to be able to look at this so I will turn away but it seems that they are discussing whether or not he had quote unquote control So the call is, holy cow, Cody Butcher had a front headlock on the side, which should have been a count of five seconds. So once the five seconds should have happened, it would have been a stall call, and that stopped with 13 seconds left, meaning that there is still 13 seconds left of wrestling, and Brandon Walmack gets to his feet right away. There's that kamikaze roll again, gets to his sit-up, nothing there. As he gets in again, gets in the leg, tries to hop over to the other side. There's three seconds left in this period. No, but... Cody Butcher does have a stall warning against him. So, video review wasn't exactly what Cornell wanted, but they did get a stall warning against Butcher. And Brandon Walmack again is very formidable on top. He's going to have to try to see if he can get that ride time point for the win here. But Birch are doing a good job of sitting out and controlling those hands, sealing off on the inside. And a great job from Bircher getting to the sit out and keeping his composure. And let me just say, the shoes on Bircher, let's ask our cameraman, Charles Tucker, what do you think of the shoes on Bircher? Those are some pretty fly sneaks, if I do say so myself. Pretty fly sneaks, great tape job. That, that. that may be the, the wow factor as this match is tied 2-2. And Brandon Walmack dives in for a single leg. Bircher squeezes hard in the front headlock. See if he can capitalize from his offensive position. Keep in mind, the front headlock is the most scored takedown in all levels of wrestling. But Bircher not able to capitalize there as our stalemate call brings us back to our feet. Minute and 11 tied 2-2. Tied Riding time is not a factor. And a tricky spot here for Walmack. Again, we saw Palacio capitalize from here as he does it again. Now, this was something shown by Cam Simez a long time ago as he brings him over. And, oh, he leads over like the leading tower of Pisa. What is Brandon Walmack going to do here as he scoots, scoots, scoots his way across? As he turns in, he's going to get him on his back. Does he have the cradle locked up? Yes, he does. And that's two. It's a pretty combination for Brandon Walmack. As he tries to drive over the far hip of Bircher, as he leads 
and he's just going to have to ride this out. Great job from Brandon Womack. Bircher got in deep on the shot, but he sat the corner, elevated, brought him over to his shoulder, and locked up the cradle for the two. And Brandon Womack, what was once a sudden victory win, is now a regulation decision victory in favor of Brandon Womack. And here we are, our feature bout of the match. Number three, Brian Robino versus number one, Bo Jordan. It's about to go down. And a deafening silence falls over Newman Arena as both, as all the people here know how important this match is. Seconds left into, into the match, and he's already getting a takedown. And Bo Jordan quickly get to his feet, and this could be a shootout here at 174. Brian Robito, who first started off, uh, his scrambling was his go-to. He had great counter offense and defense. Has now shown that his leg attacks are deadly and threatening from all positions. Brian Robito again controlling the attack hand on Bo Jordan. Bo Jordan trying to pull down on that power tie. And a nice heavy collar from Bo Jordan. He's trying to pull Brian Robito down, down, down. started off as fireworks only 15 seconds into the match has now kind of slowed down and we can expect that as both guys getting that little flurry out there and now realizing that they've got a lot of match left to wrestle with a minute left in the first period Brian Robito very patient waiting for those angles to come Bo Jordan trying to pull on ahead of Brian Robito but man that's got to be tough on a nice square and great there he is there's that patience again as that high cross can Brian Robito finish he tries to run the pipe Bo Jordan sits the corner and is able to get out now in the front headlock. So Brian Robito caught Bo Jordan reaching, went for the high, high C, double across, ran the pipe. Bo Jordan sat the corner, got to a front headlock, and a whole lot of wrestling and no scoring. 30 seconds left in the first. And another shot as he tries to sit into his hip, and now he's going to come across. He's low. Bo Jordan again sitting in the corner. Going cross on the other side. What we saw from Palacio and Womack. Bo Jordan seemed to have picked up in the meantime. Another stalemate, but two great leg attacks at the record show from Brian Robito in the first period. Five seconds left in the first period. And going into the second, Brian Robito leads 2-1. At this time, we want to ask our cameraman, Charles Tucker, for a hot take. What do you think about Brian Robito's decision to wear double knee pads as opposed to Bo Jordan's decision to only wear one knee pad? Well, the double knee pad game is so strong here at Cornell. I wear double knee pads. Brian wears double knee pads. You know, and it's working out for him. He's winning this match. All right, they, you heard it. First take right there. Cameraman, Charles Tucker. Tucker, two knees, two knee pads. 
And there's the whistle inside the second period. Brian Robito down quickly to his feet. Bo Jordan throws a leg and doesn't able to get it in. Brian Robito faces that away in only six seconds. Gets the escape. And they're right back in and on the mat, both on a knee. A little far ankle attack from Brian Robito, but he's now he's in that front headlock. Again, the most scored takedown is from the front headlock in all aspects of wrestling. And now we see a stoppage. Seems to be a stalemate. Our referee does not like hanging out there. Nice little snap from Bo Jordan. Just a testament. I don't, I don't know what the camera shows, but Bo Jordan seems to have a little bit of a reach on Brian Robito. Robito showing how strong he is in that first early takedown. Again, grabbing wrists, snaps, heavy hand fighting here in Newman Arena, Ithaca, New York. Clock ticks down, one minute left in the second period. shot hasn't been able to finish this before will he be able to drops down can't get the far leg but look at that lower back of Brian Robito trying to come in strong Bo Jordan's going to try to stretch him he's got that far ankle does he have a cradle locked up Brian Robito's going to try to roll him through he's pressuring in he's got him on his back he's got him on his back referee says nothing Bo Jordan keeps the leg locked and can he break the leg Brian Robito's going to try to get the takedown and the referee says, no, that is potentially dangerous. I'm looking out for the safety of my wrestlers. And Tom Ryan says he had a cradle. That's a pinning combination. Should that be two? Well, what is the referee going to say here? Rob Cole comes over says, stop whispering sweet nothings into the ear of the referee. 